Hey everybody, Chris Pettit here with First 15 Live. So glad to have you on board. Um, I want to talk to you today about what do you do when you don't feel close to God or maybe you don't hear God speaking in your life and you're like, man, God, where are you at? I need you to show up. I need you to come through. And, uh, and uh, if you've ever had a season like that, um, I think many people have. We're going to dive into that in just a second. My name is Chris Pettit, and here at First 15 Live, uh, our goal is for spending time with God every day to go viral. So what we want you to do is to jump on here, comment so we can have a dialogue, share this video so others can be a part, and go like our page. Um, you can hit the, the following button at the top and then the little edit notifications pencil and then choose to see when we go live every day. So you can be a part of this every day. We do it every day, Monday through Friday at 6.30, and on the weekends a little more sporadic. But um, we'd love for you to follow along. Uh, we're doing the one-year Bible reading plan because we want people to spend time with God every day. So good morning, good morning. Glad to have all of you on here. Um, if you haven't hit the share button yet, go ahead and do that. And, um, and let's dive in. All right, so in, a, in our one-year Bible reading plan in, in Genesis, um, we have this great story about G, uh, Jacob. And um, Jacob's in a, a season where he can't feel God and he can't, um, he can't hear God's voice. And he's just kind of like in this this funk. Uh, how many of you have ever been there? Come on, can I get a, a me in the comments if you've ever been there? Like, just he doesn't know where God's at, doesn't know what God's saying. Good morning to everybody who's on here. If you have any prayer requests, drop them in too. We'd love to pray for you. Um, and so that's where he's at. That's where, where, where Jacob is. And, and, and he's lost. He's confused. He's not sure what to do. Um, and then he does something brilliant. That is exactly what we need to do when we're in one of those, those just kind of funky seasons, you know, like, God, where are you at? I can't hear you. I don't, I'm not sure what's going on. Jacob goes back to a place where God has spoke, uh, where God had spoken to him before. Uh, he went to a physical place like God, you spoke to me here before. Um, I had an encounter with God right here. And and I'm coming back to this place because I need to hear from God. Can I tell you, for many of us, it may not be a physical location, maybe a spiritual location, like or spirit you know, it may be a, a spiritual state or a you know, a um a way of thinking or, or whatever it is, but um it may be a, a an obedience, maybe something God spoke to you and you didn't do or whatever. It may be a person that you used to be attached to, um, you know, that, that connected you spiritually to God um, and was a driving force for you spiritually, and now that person's not in your life anymore, and you have to reconnect to that person. Uh, whatever the case is, that's, that's what Jacob did. He went back to that last place where God was um, so powerful in his life and so tangible and so close to him, so near to him. For you, it may be a church that you need to go back to. It may be... Um, somebody you need to connect to a spiritual mentor. It may be, um, it, it may simply be a, a song you need to play. It may need, need to be, it's that last thing. Like I remember when, when I was here, when this was going on, I was so close to God. Sometimes that's what you have to go back to. Or maybe it's an obedience thing. Maybe there's something God spoke to you and you didn't do. And you need to go back to that place and do what he said and, and remember that. So that's what I want to challenge you. If you're in a funk, if you're not in a funk right now, maybe in the future, file this away because maybe in the future you'll be in a funk. But um, if you're in a place where you just, I mean, I'm, where is God at? What is God speaking to me? I'm just not sure. Well, go back to the last place where you were sure. Go back to a place where God powerfully impacted your life. And then say, all right, God, here I am. Speak to me again like you did then. Move in me again like you did then. And watch what God does. Come on, there's something special about going back. Come on, somebody say, go back. <laughs> so if you're in a funky place, if you need to hear from God, you need to feel God again, go back to the last place you really felt God, man. You really, his presence was, whether that's a physical place or a mental state or a relationship or a worship song, or whatever the case is. A, a, a schedule, maybe you had a prayer life, a schedule, a better prayer life than you do now. Whatever the case is, I'm going back to that place where I used to feel God. Amen? Well, be safe if you're uh, in the weather zone like I am and, and uh, you're having double snow days back to back. Be safe out there. Stay warm.
Let me pray for you. If you got any prayer requests, drop them in. Father, I pray for everybody watching this, God. I pray that you would help us in our lonely seasons, Father, to go back to the last place we experienced you, God. And I pray when we do, God, that you would honor that, you would pour out your spirit in our lives in a fresh and mighty way. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray for those who need healing. God, we release healing. I pray for safety for those, uh, Lord, in, in this in this weather, God. And I pray, um, Lord, for deliverance from, from addiction, God, alcoholism, Lord, pornography, God, um, uh, pills, God, any of those things, God, just deliverance for anybody watching this, God. I pray, um, Lord, for deliverance from depression, God, and just your radical life change to happen in everybody watching this. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hey, today is a great day to encourage somebody, to pray for somebody, to be a world changer because God has made you, you, you a world changer. So let's go change the world today. Hey, spend some time in worship with God after this. Share this video if you haven't shared it. Let's make a difference. First 15 out. I'll see you tomorrow.